Hello guys, in this video let's understand the different optimization techniques which we can apply in AWS2 for Apache Iceberg tables, not the normal tables, Apache Iceberg tables. So firstly, why do we need to optimize the Apache Iceberg tables? So when we have a multiple small files underneath for a specific Iceberg table, the query retrieval time will be slow. That's one pointer. So as we know, Iceberg table stores each and every transaction as a snapshot. So when we have multiple snapshots, which we don't want to use for suppose if we are having a snapshot for the last one year we don't do time travel for the last one year right we might do time travel for the last one month at a max so we don't need those kind of snapshots as well we have to delete those kind of snapshots as too so there can be some uh, old uh, data files which are not being referred at all so those kind of old files can also be deleted so these are the three things which we can uh, apply from glue for apache iceberg tables so how can we handle the first problem using compaction compaction means merging a small files into a larger files there are three uh, techniques with which aws glue handles compaction for apache iceberg tables the first one is a bin pack how it does is like it just merges a small files into a larger files and how it treats a specific uh, file as a small file is like in the table properties we can mention the ideal file size and the number of files in each partition should should be if if the number crosses behind that then it can go ahead and do the compaction we can mention that in the table properties like how i have mentioned here so the first thing is bin pack the it just merges small files into the larger file based on the configuration we give and the second thing is sorting so in this sorting technique uh, in case if you want to sort the data on a specific column let's say we have a customer id if you want to sort the data on a customer id and all the similar customer ids should be in the same partition so that the querying will be fast so in that case you can go with uh, sorting compaction instead of bin pack compaction and the last thing is z order so in case if you want to sort on multiple columns the sorting technique is better optimal when you want to sort only on one column but if you want to sort on multiple columns uh, then you can go with a Z order. So these are the three different strategies which we can apply for compaction in Apache Iceberg tables using Glue. And the next thing is snapshot retention. So we don't have to store all the older snapshots, right? We can just store what the snapshots which are only required for or the snapshots over till a specific uh, time period. We can even do that as well. The, the default snapshot re retention period is five days. If you want a longer time, you can specify here. And the snapshot deletion is done every 24 hours. If you want, you can even change that specific parameter as well. And the third thing is deletion of orphan files. That means delete unreferenced files in the S3 after a specific period. By default is three days. And also this job by default is scheduled for every 24 hours. You can even change that. So these are the three optimization techniques which we can apply on glue for Apache iceberg tables. 